Hi there guys, my name is Jacob and welcome back to my channel. Now, if you live in the UK like I do, you'll know that the past two weeks have just been nothing but cold, grey and miserable. And it's been pretty depressing, to be quite honest. I mean, this whole winter just seems to have lasted, you know, a lot longer than it actually has done. But today I have amazing news. The sun has come out and this is great news in... in many ways really. It's lovely just to see the sun and feel the warmth from the sun. Uh, I mean I am wrapped up, it is still quite cold, but still it's nice to have the sun out. But this has coincided nicely with a good event for myself regarding my solar PV and battery system. Now if you don't know, about a month ago, um, almost a month to the day, um, I had a solar PV battery system installed at my house um, and for those that are interested it's 13 panels um, that is about 5.7 kilowatts of panels, solar panels on the roof, two different roofs, uh, south and west, and a 9.5 kilowatt battery system, um, which is a 9.5 give energy battery. And I've had that now for about a month and it's been going really well. I mean, Take away the two weeks of just dark grey cloud. Before that, it's been going incredibly well and it's, it's, it's almost eliminated my electric bill. But a lot of the excess energy that I have been producing, I have tried to either use up in the house with, you know, lots of different high energy things going on, like the dishwasher, the washing machine, electric heaters, things like that. But ultimately, there's still excess that I haven't been able to use and I've, I've had to send that to the grid for free which of course is pretty annoying. You know, you, you want to be paid for the excess energy that you create, that you give to the grid. And today, of all days, when the sun has come out, I got an email from Octopus Energy, which is my energy provider, telling me that my export tariff has gone live, which means as of today, I'm getting paid for all the energy that I send to the grid. And the tariff that I'm on, they pay me 15 pence a kilowatt. So today I just checked on my app and I have sent roughly 11 kilowatts to the grid, which, you know, roughly, I mean, I know there might be some losses in there somewhere, but you're talking about £1.50 to £1.60 that I will be paid now for that energy that I've sent to the grid. And now this is one of the main, you know, big, big benefits of having solar, especially when you produce excess amounts. Because, you know, I guess the idea of having solar and a battery is, of course, to eliminate your own electric bill. And, you know, just getting rid of your bill is a big win in itself. And I'm very glad to say that, you know, my panels and my system are, are going to do that for me. Absolutely no problem. But there's another huge upside. And that is if you create excess energy that you just don't need. Uh, and that's because you've probably got maybe a bit of an oversized system, which I have. That means you can then send that energy to the grid and be paid for it. And the price that I'm being paid for it, which, as I mentioned, is 15 pence a kilowatt, that is almost double what I buy energy for to charge my battery overnight. I charge my battery at 8.5 pence per kilowatt, and I do that on a cheap overnight tariff. And that tariff is called Octopus Go. Um, so I use that tariff. I charge my battery overnight to make sure it's nearly 100% by the time I wake up ready for the next day. And that means now that, you know, almost as soon as the sun comes up, if my battery um, needs topping up just a little bit, then obviously it'll top it up. But then any excess, I am then being paid for it. And because I only pay 8.5 pence a kilowatt for my energy overnight, it doesn't take long to export enough to the grid to where I've covered that charge period overnight, what I pay for the energy, which normally is about 50 pence overnight, normally something like that. So, of course, I need to send enough energy to the grid to where I'm covering that charge before, obviously, I then make a profit. But I checked, I spent 46 pence last night charging my battery uh, just to get it to 100%. So today I, I have made so far, and it's only about two o'clock, so I'm going to make more than this today. But I've made about £1.50 so far today in export um, payments, basically. So, you know, I'm, I'm profiting today, you know, more than a pound. That is what the energy company will have to pay me. 
and that covers all my energy that, you know, that's factoring in all my use. So I'll have no energy bill and they will owe me money. And that to me is honestly something, you know, a few years back I would have dreamed of, you know, an energy company owing you money. It's almost unheard of. But to be able to get to this position, you know, obviously you have to have solar panels and a battery and things like that. And I'm so glad that, you know, now I've got that export tariff set up. Going forward, this is going to become a regular thing. Um, now, of course, the sun is not out every day, as we all know in the UK. The last two weeks have been nothing but grey. But going forward, as we move out of February into March, you know, into April, when the better weather starts coming, hopefully these type of days where I can, you know, export 10, 20 kilowatts to the grid, I could be making two, three, four pounds a day in export payments. And when you factor in, you know, let's say three pounds a day, if if that is achievable. And I think that is achievable with my system, you know, in the in the middle of summer. I think that is very achievable. Three pounds a day times that by 30, you're talking 90 pounds. And that will be with all my energy covered. So, I'll, you know, I won't owe the energy company anything. They will owe me roughly 90 pounds a month. And like I say, I actually think I might be able to do more than that. So I might even, you know, get more than £100 a month from the energy company. I just think that is incredible. It, it's, you know, I've come a long way from, you know, normally I'd be paying the energy company £100 a month. But potentially from now on, once we hit those better months, they'll be paying me. So... I just think that's incredible. And again, another huge benefit to having a solar panel and battery system. And this is one of the ways that, you know, people always talk about the payback period for a solar and battery system. You know, and, oh, you've spent all this money. How long is it going to take to pay you back? And obviously you factor in how much you're saving having the system. That's part of the payback. But another huge chunk of the payback period is how much it generates to you in export payments. And ultimately, at this point, it's all just, you know, guesswork and, you know, calculations that you don't really know if they're going to happen. But over the next few months and over the next year or so, I'll be able to build up, uh, you know, a good amount of data to kind of be more specific about that payback period. Now, my installer thinks it will be about eight to nine years. I think I'll be able to get a quicker payback than that from what I've calculated. But like I say, until I actually get through these spring and summer months and kind of see how the generation goes and how much I actually do end up getting paid for it, it's hard to know. But ultimately, it's all looking super positive and I just cannot wait as these months tick by now throughout the year. Each month is going to progressively get better and better as we head towards, you know, May, June, July. That Those are kind of the peak solar months if you, you know, have solar panels and a battery. So I can't wait to get to those, you know, the best months of the year and see how my system performs. But after the first month, which is roughly today, I think it will be a month tomorrow that I will have had the system. So... It's just I've got nothing but good words to say about it. Um, and I'm glad for every penny I spent on it, it has been worth it so far. So if you're thinking about getting a solar system installed at your house, my personal opinion would be it is a no brainer and go for it. But of course, do your own sums and, you know, do your own maths. Make sure it all adds up for you personally. But for me, it's been wonderful so far. Right then, guys, I'll leave it there because this has turned into a longer video than I thought it would. Um, you know, it's, I ramble. I know I do. Um, but if, if you enjoyed this video, guys, consider hitting the like and subscribe button. And I also have a, a link down in the comments, which is set, it just says buy me a coffee. And basically, it's just a tips jar. So if you enjoy these videos and would like to support the channel a little bit more, then feel free to hit that link and buy me a coffee. That would be wonderful. Right then, guys, I'll leave it there. Thank you very much if you made it this far in the video and I will catch you in the next one.